Good day! In today's video, I will show you how to replace the support on the stabilization bar. You are on the largest Mercedes W124 channel. I'm Hervé and I will show it to you. Why do we need to change that part? Well, uh, because it tends to break, or huh? uh, well, at least I had that that uh, that problem several times. You see, on this one, for instance, uh, here it gets connected to the to the bar, and it broke right in the middle. Uh, on this car, for instance, it broke here. Okay, um, so how do we know we need to change it? Well, because it's broken. Obviously, now the metal is not connected, and when you go through a, a bump or stuff like that, you will hear. Okay, you will hear a noise. Okay, so you know there's a problem. The other way to know we got a problem with this, if you look on one side of the car and the other side of the car, here you will not not notice it because the the land is not flat. Okay, um, but if, uh, for instance, you park in the street, you will notice that above the wheel and the fender, okay, you've got a, a distance. For instance, this. Okay, and on the other side of the car, it will be less. Uh, where it's broken uh, so you will notice that in case uh, you can do as well you can turn the wheel completely and normally by eyesight you will see it immediately uh, that it's broken uh, now be careful uh, before to change it because there's a left side and there's a right side okay uh, so I will give you the part number anyway and I will show it to you the difference now you have the part number on the video okay so if you need to to buy the, the the right or left side okay so look at the difference you see here it's slightly different huh? it's opposite apart from that it's the same here okay you see here the curve as well huh? it's different so how it's mounted well it's very very easy here it's held by a bolt of 17 okay and here it's held by two uh, two bolts of 13 okay and here we've got the the bar that goes inside with the rubber okay so now i will show you uh, i will turn the wheel i will show you how it's, where it's broken huh? so like that you you will see that you can see it um, simply by looking at it and later we'll raise the car and we'll change it well that's it i've turned a bit the wheel and now we'll zoom in and hopefully you will see it Okay, can you see the stabilization bar here? And you can see the part is tilted and broken. It should be straight, okay? So now let's raise the car and change this. Okay, I've raised the car and I hope you will be able to see it. Okay, now let's see. Okay, so that's the part we want to remove, as you can see, okay? So what I'll do, I'll, I'll remove the two bolt of uh, 13 here so like that i recover the part okay uh, and then i'll remove it on top there okay you you will see as well that where the bolt is there's like um, a washer okay like a squarish washer okay at the same time that you're gonna remove this uh, just have a look at the those rubbers okay but it's because it's possible that you may have to change them as well okay so we go let me remove this and that and take the part out i now have the part you see where it's been broken okay and this is what i was telling you about okay it's, that goes on top of it okay so you can't go wrong you see this goes inside this okay you can't place it the other way around okay so now what we're gonna do we're gonna uh, fit it back huh? so i will place this inside the rubber then fit it at the top and then finish with it. The part is now fitted. As you can see, I just need to tighten it, okay? Um, and what you may have, you may have a problem, so it's very difficult to shoot under the car like that, okay? Um, so anyway, uh, for it to fit properly on top and at the bottom, okay? Uh, it may be possible that you need to raise or lower the, the, the bar, okay? So look what I've done here i obviously got ramps the cars on ramps but i've used as well the jack okay and with the jack i've lower i've uh, raised the car a little bit so like that uh, this move the bar here and 
I, I can make it, uh, I can place it way easier, okay? So, uh, all I need to do now is to tighten this properly, uh, the, the 2 of 13 and the 1 of 17, and the job is done. That's it, job done. As you can see, it's very, very easy. So you can do it yourself too. Okay, I hope that you have liked the video. I hope it's useful to you. And we'll see each other in the next one. Take care.